Alrighty. So I had uh, some folks asking if you could automatically switch between scenes or camera shots or whatever you've got going on in OBS, and absolutely you can. Uh, you'll use an add-on called Advanced Scene Switcher. This is the, the window for the download. Put a link in the description. Uh, click this, go to download. Uh, I'm on Mac, so this will be for Mac folks, but it's going to be very, very similar for Windows. <clears throat> Once you uh, open that uh, download, if you're in Catalina, you know, you'll have to go into system prefs and security and and uh, log in and OK that because by default it will not allow. Okay, so once you've installed that, you're gonna go uh, open OBS, and once you do that, you're gonna have a new um, tool. So if you go to your tools in the menu bar, you're gonna see Advanced Scene Switcher. Pull that up, and for this, we're concerned. <clears throat> we're gonna concern ourselves with sequence. So this is essentially you're writing a script that's when then. So when this, then this happens. So I got four cameras, so we need to make four scripts to basically make a loop, a continuous loop. So um, I want the first is the camera you'll be on. So that's my M50. That's my front shot. Uh, when it's active, I want to cut to my T5i. I'll set that for five seconds. And I'll use fade. I hit the plus key, and that script is written in. Uh, then I'll go from the one I just left, so T5i to T, oops, T2i is what I want. Five seconds and fade, hit the plus key. Then uh, T2i to my overhead shot, five seconds fade, plus. And then lastly, from my overhead shot, back to my M50 shot. Five seconds fade. So now I've got these four uh, scripts. So once we have uh, everything written, go back to the general tab. You click start. You close that out. And with any luck, in five seconds, this will switch. There we go. And uh, that'll go on until we go back to the tab and hit stop, which is problematic probably for most of you. So what you can do is you can create a new scene. We'll call this um, M50B. And I'll create, uh, I'll just drop all the stuff that I, would, that I dropped in the other M50, which is this and uh, audio but we don't need that right now so basically uh, if I go to that that will stop the sequence from happening if I click on any of the uh, shots that are or the scenes rather that are in that sequence it'll start all over again so I just clicked on the M50 front shot and there we go and that'll keep running so that's a good way for you know musicians or anybody else that's doing any kind of performance or demonstration to get a little bit of movement in their live stream. <laughs>